Look here, guys. There ain't no prettier sight than an RS1 with a President Trump flag. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Guys, we gotta... One, two, three, go! <laughs> Boys, I believe the Can-Am got him. That was a RR. That's a RR 195 against a Pro XP 181. I just met them guys up there. They're, they're killer. But, uh, yeah, man. That's pretty cool. Rematch! Y'all gonna run it back? Yeah, I smoked the belt on this thing and I can smell it now. <laughs> Got a rematch, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Guys, I hate to say it, but either one of those machines, unfortunately, would smoke my little RS1, but might go to a practice run with them right here in just a minute. Might need to straighten them cones up. Hey, hang on. Let me straighten these cones up. Hang on. was coming back I should have got at the end guys that's close can't am smoking the bell but guys we'll catch you on the next one What's up guys just got done with the barrel racing i didn't do too well <laughs> guys i was trying to learn something though i was trying to corner this rs1 the way you uh corner a quad and uh, where all four brakes where your front and back brakes work together you, you can't do that and i i learned it you'll see in the video front end was pushing it wouldn't let me whip the machine around when i needed to but i had fourth out of about 15 riders at him ain't too bad i don't guess but i did have a big advantage i was the only rs1 i should have done better than i did but it is what it is you live and you learn but main thing guys i had a good time i hope you guys enjoy it but uh 
Next, at around two o'clock, it's like 11.45 now, be the, the rally race. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you know, th these events here, they're just for fun. You just get like one little sight lab, so it ain't like I'm used to. Like back in the day when I used to race motocross, you'd get several practice sessions to where you knew the track. Well, here you just get one sight lap and then you go with it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I'd, li I'd like to come out of here with a trophy for my little girl, but if not, you know, I, I try my best. Next year I'll be a little more prepared, know what I need to do. But guys, main thing, I'm having a ball. If you guys haven't been to these UTV takeovers, man, you, you guys are missing out. You, you need to come. It's, it's a good time. And uh, yeah, you'll really enjoy yourself. But guys, I don't mean to hold you and keep talking to you, but uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And guys, I'll catch you on the next video. All right, guys, here we go. Rally course, UTV takeover. that race. Uh, yeah, I missed two turns. I got no film. Oh, gotcha. What was my time? Uh, 1.36, I think. Sure. I missed two turns. Hey, guys, that's part of it. What's up YouTube? Guys, the rally racing is still going on. Just so I'm understood correctly, guys, uh, what you, you've seen on the video, I had to stop back up. The caution tape ain't what 
you know, cost me the race. It's just getting one side lap, and it was real dusty. They took about 20 of us around one time. You couldn't really see. But if anything, next year, I'm going to talk to them about it. These are real good people. They're open to suggestions on how to make it better. Instead of just running like one string of caution tape, I'm going to tell them to hang like orange flyers or something on the floor because I didn't see it until the main end. You see, I about went through it, then had to do a turn. But uh, yeah, guys, I was nine seconds off the pace. That's losing momentum to slow down to stop, put the machine in reverse, then take back off. That alone probably cost me seven to eight seconds. Then you'll see right before that. I also had another bad turn. I probably lost a couple seconds there. I ain't gonna say I would've won, but I'd have been I'd have been right there in the mix. I mean, you guys can watch the video and make the opinion for yourself, but uh, anybody that likes to go fast, this is a good time. I just wish they was a way to learn the course just a little bit better. I mean, any of you guys that race motocross, you know you get several practice sessions. You know the track, then you're able to show what you can do. Here you're just kind of learning on a fly, and I'm not very good at that. I'm the type that I get better as I go. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to make sure everybody understood that. There was plainly caution tape up. I just couldn't hardly see it, and it kind of it kind of cost me. But anyway, it's part of it. It was a blast. It's got me uh, kind of wanting to compete, find a local course, start racing, but I don't know. We'll see. But guys, tune in for the next one. The Mud Bog is coming up next on UTVs. I am going to film some of it. I've actually got my wife and kids up here with me now. They're loving it. This is a family event, guys. There's something here for everybody. But uh, yeah, you guys tune in to the next one. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, my money's on that guy. <laughs> 